2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are delighted to welcome you to this year's Q School Final. We're just about to begin our coverage of this exciting event. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. Glad to have you back in the booth, mate. Really looking forward to the action out there on the course today, Luke. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Time for the second shot into the first. That was wonderfully done. What's in front of them, Henny? This one, guys, he's got around nine feet. That wasn't your best effort, was it? Just 10 feet to the cup here. Oh, so close. Putting now for a bogey. Sitting at one over for the event. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Players want to take out any club, driver three, whatever it takes to miss the bunkers down the right-hand side in order to give them the best opportunity to knock it on in two. However, danger lurks everywhere around this green, so players playing cautiously might want to consider laying up. Birdie fours are always a good score in this hole, and you're never disappointed with a five. And here we are with the third shot. This one might need to sit. A wonderful shot and a chance for Purdy here at the second. You know, it's not if you make bogeys, it's how you respond. Well done. And with that now, back to level par. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that, Purdy. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. A split green here. It is difficult to make birdie twos, but par threes should be had. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Outside chance here for the birdie. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. Looking for another birdie here. Was on a good line. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. And down it goes. He's in a share of 15th. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Lovely effort, that. Second shot here on the fourth. This putt to move into the top five on the leaderboard. Ooh. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. It was nice to see that go in because it has been pretty darn ugly up to this point. That tee shot looks pretty good. Playing from around 160 yards. Just two shots behind. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Chance to get one under the card with this putt. This is their look at birdie. Come on, don't be shy. That's one of those putts that you're proud of at the end of a round. They all add up. And that will take him to one under. Oh, what a shot that was. Why don't we revisit the magic? I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. He's currently tied for sixth. Time to tee off at the sixth. 
bunkers down the right hand side are a nuisance the pawn fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots second shot to a very flat green you can get it close but still difficult on this long par four Uh, it's a little wide. One of the rare misses for this player today, Luke. They've been hitting a lot of greens today. And he needs this to save par. Just didn't drop. Oh, a nine foot chance here. Oh, that's a bad break there, Rich. Just probably a little bit too much pace. Now four back after that hole. Love the long holes. Welcome to the par five. Par five, 600 yards straight away. Wanting to make birdies, but par is a good number. That's tidy. Oh, well done. Getting ready to play their third. Four strokes off the lead. This putt, a chance to move inside the top 20 on the leaderboard. Ooh, right by the hole. This part of about seven feet to the hole. Well hold. Now five strokes behind. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Par three and a diabolical green to say the least. The left hand side sits much higher than the right hand side and the green is usually very firm. A tough ask. They're looking to get this one close in hopes of saving par. Didn't that look good for a long time? What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Setting up this putt 19 feet from the cup. Looking really good. Oh, a little bit of a rush of blood by the looks of it. Oh, just missed. Time to make a putt here. This one's for double. Trailing by seven after that hole. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? Setting up here from about 165 yards. And that was a bit of a misfire. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Just take a look at this one, Rich. Do you think it's makeable? Luke, I got to say, I don't like their chances. I, I have been wrong once before, but I really can't remember when that was. Yep, well done. And as we head over to the 10th hole, Rich, this player will enter their final nine holes of Q School. How will they be feeling? Luke, this is the spot where you either fail or shine. And I got to say, nine holes left to put themselves in the top 50 to make another Corn Ferry Tour. Failing is definitely an option for this player. Should find the green here. Well, that's well played and sets up a good birdie look here at the 10th. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Well, it was a wonderful approach shot, wasn't it? But unfortunately, having to settle for par. Opting for the five wood. That one's headed right and staying right. 
Looks like they pulled this one. That's not what they hoped for. I'm definite about that. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Lovely touch. Well played. Judging it beautifully. Yep. Well hold for bogey. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Par four, 510 yards. Good luck. You'll need it. That's some good golf right there. Looks like they've got the five wood. Getting ready to play their third. And if this can go down, he'll save par. This one's online. Ouch, that hurts. Just three feet to the cup. And it's back-to-back -back bogeys here. Got to turn this momentum around. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Now playing a little defensively. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 145 yards. Wow, did this come out beautifully. Well, Rich, that's on the surface, but it's in three-putt territory. It's so far away. Anything in five feet would be handy from here. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. A bit too much pace on that one. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Well, if he holds this, it'll be a solid 19-footer. Appears to have overcooked this one. This one's for bogey. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Three feet to go here to the hole. Yep, you'll take that. A little slide happening here on the leaderboard. See if he can bounce back. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. Fairway sweeps from right to left down the hill. Should you find the fairway, you'll have a decent look at finding the green in two. But I got to say, it is a difficult par four, and you'd be happy to walk away with that score. Going with the five wood. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Oh, so close. A par putt on the table. It's tracking. Oh, that's frustrating. The putt drops, and we're moving on. Well, that's a shame. That'll drop them down the standings, that's for sure. Wonderfully played. Yeah, nicely played. And Henny, what are they looking at here? All right, down the hill here. Got to be gentle. 
He was on a good line. There's part of about six feet coming up. Solid par putt, that. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. It's time for a one-shotter. Watch out for this green. There's a large shelf on the right-hand side. If it's up there, good luck getting it close. And whatever you do, don't be silly and hit it left in the water. That's just a bad shot. Should find the green. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the booty range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. That was a gallant attempt. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. And there it is. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Next up is this par four hole. Dog leg from right to left. Second shot is down the slope. Lots of bunkers on this hole, but should you avoid them and find this sliver of a green, then birdie will be on your mind. Well, Rich, the 17th hole at TPC Boston, I think the most important thing is positioning your tee shot so you can get a clear look at the green here. A very narrow green actually bisected in two by Santa Claus's belly, thus the size of it. Find the right level, you have a birdie opportunity. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. Sitting at eight over for the round. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Second shot here at the 18th. Handy effort, that one. And here we are with the third shot. Good sounding strike, that one. That's well played. Pin high. And this putt for a final score of 78. And with that, this player has finished their Q School final. But Rich, unfortunately, they didn't manage to make it to that all-important top 50 and won't be able to advance to the Corn Ferry Tour next season.